Hello and welcome to Somerville Media Center Studio Lab, a uh, in-house production where we train new members on how to use cameras and we get to have fun conversations with interesting people in the community. Um, my name is Heather Mack. I work here as the Youth Media Program Director and the manager of Boston Free Radio. Um, and I am here with Marcelo Brosi Brosiner. Yeah, Sorry. I yeah, did. I knew I got it right the first time. <laughs> you, but did. The, you know, um, also known as Jerome B. Um, who's here, a local rapper, um, a Somerville native, mm -hmm. and we're going to talk a little bit about your new album, Price of Paradise, and your single, Condos, in particular, that has been getting a lot of people talking, to yeah. say the least. So, yeah. welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's great to be here. And um, I know you have some roots here at Somerville Media Center. You have some background here. Yeah, yeah. Tell so I actually worked here for my senior year of high school as the teen reporter from Somerville High. Um, so covering like anything that was youth related or related to the high school in any way. Uh, so it's really cool seeing how the space has stayed and also like grown in a lot of different ways. And you told me earlier that nine high school students are working yep. here now. Uh, so that's amazing. I'm really happy to hear that yeah. more students are involved. Yeah, it's yeah. really it's been a it's been a cool thing to watch that grow. This mm -hmm. has been the first time we've had that many youth working here this nice. summer, so it's cool. Yeah. Did you have a, a a story that you remember that you worked on from back then that stands oh. out to you? I'm putting you way on the you spot. You are putting here. me I'm on the so spot. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, this definitely wasn't the most amazing one in in my view to that I was covering, but I did a cool one on the culinary program at Somerville High because they cook food in a real legitimate. They have a restaurant. Um, they have a restaurant that, that they, anybody can go yeah, to. Yeah, anyone can go yeah. to. Um, but it usually seems to be older Somerville folks, um, like retirees and stuff. But yeah, like students are getting firsthand experience in the in the restaurant industry and uh, culinary industry. So it's really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm. Um, so welcome to the show again. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here. Um, I know you are a Somerville native. You grew up here. Um, and have a have a unique Somerville perspective, having yeah. having grown up here. Um, what was your experience like growing up here in Somerville? My experience has been amazing uh, so far living here, and I mean it's definitely the central uh, element of what I do as an artist and and how I interact with people. Generally speaking, Somerville is a very weird mix of an urban center and a suburb. Um, like the train tracks of the commuter rail, which is about to be the green line, which is crazy to think about. Yeah, um, right. Like those are like right down the street from my house. I used to hang around the train tracks in like high school and stuff, yep. like writing, <laughs> writing there, yeah. doing photography. But yeah, Somerville's special because in that mix, there's a lot of different pockets of energy and, and environments that you can kind of uh, seem through. Um, and the people who grew up here, are generally very like-minded. There's so much diversity that even outside of school, you're getting an education that you can't really get anywhere else. Yeah. And so I think there's a very grounding uh, aspect of growing up here because you have such a concrete understanding of how many different walks of life there are on the sidewalk. And that's been really, really crucial for me as an artist and as a person growing up. Yeah, that's, yeah it's awesome. and it's. It's also kind of ironic when you mention that because, I mean, I know it's one of the things that like Mayor Curtis Tony always says is like the mm -hmm. high school speaks this many, you know, 70 languages. And, yeah. you know, we have, you know, we're a sanctuary city and we welcome all immigrants mm. and have a lot of, you know, and a lot of folks have actually come to Somerville, um, you know, for a bunch of different reasons, obviously being close to Boston but also that diversity and that, you know, artistic element. Uh, that's another thing that I know that it gets yeah. touted a lot is like, oh, it's the highest concentration of artists outside of Manhattan. Which is crazy. Which is crazy. That's amazing to think about. It is amazing. But I also wonder alongside you, and I think, you know, we'll get into this, but mm -hmm. like how many of those people can actually afford to continue to stay in Somerville, right? Exactly. Right. And, um, you know, I've... I've said it before and now I'm getting spicy, but you know, it's kind of like a sanctuary for, for white people's feelings to be like, oh, we're doing all this good work, but if people can't afford to stay here and take that benefit and, and get the benefits of living here. So obviously I'm kind of showing my cards of how I feel yeah. being here only for eight years. Um, but for you, what have you seen change in Somerville? Yeah, so I think that the song Condos, um, it's pretty to the point yeah. and that the most immediate and present change I've seen has been the number of luxury condos popping up everywhere. 
because uh, the last four years I was in college in Waltham at Brandeis University. Mm -hmm. And so the more you're away from your home, mm -hmm. no matter where your home is, you see the changes more. Uh, they're more obvious and more in the open. And I think that also goes with like people and anything really when you're away from them for a while. But um, yeah, so the condos, but then beyond that also, I definitely have felt a change in the demographics. Mm -hmm. uh, Somerville has always had a, a really big white population, mm -hmm. but something feels a lot more regular now in terms of who you seeing, if, who you see walking in the street. Mm -hmm. um, and it's tricky because I get it. I get why people mm -hmm. wanna move here. It's close right. to Boston. Like you said, all of the artists, it's relatively cheap. It definitely was mm -hmm. cheaper a few years ago than it is today. So that's not as much true anymore, but it's a really beautiful city. Uh, you know, the first, not the modern flag, but the mm -hmm. first American flag was right. raised here. Right. There's a lot of history in the city, the Winter Hill Gang, so many things. Um, and it's really ironic, like you mentioned, the whole Sanctuary City campaign. Mm -hmm. Mayor Curta Tony got so much love for mm -hmm. calling the city a Sanctuary City. I mean, Elizabeth Warren who's an amazing senator. A lot of big yeah. names came out to support Curta Tony for that. And Mayor Curta Tony is a great mayor. Like mm -hmm. he's done a lot of great things yep. for the city. He's also from here, which is awesome. He's, he played for the Somerville High football team. Yeah. But there's something very hypocritical and misleading about calling a sanctuary city, a sanctuary city like you just mentioned when the folks who need that sanctuary can't afford the sanctuary. And right. so, when they have to move to say Malden or Everett, mm -hmm. which are also being gentrified, yep. but they might be a little cheaper, are Malden and Everett currently right. sanctuary cities? Or you know, if there's another election, will the new mayor yeah. be supportive of sanctuary cities? I would think probably yes, but mm -hmm. still, there's no guarantee of, of maintaining the sanctuary. Well, and also even just for everybody else who's left behind. I mean, I think there's such an impact and you know, I wanted to get into like, if, if you've, you know, been personally affected and had people who have had to move mm -hmm. away. I know being a youth worker in the city, I've, lot, you know, I've seen a lot of families that mm -hmm. I care deeply about or like, you know, neighbors and friends that I care deeply about who have, you know, who have been pushed out. And so, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know if you, you know, want to speak to that, but what, what also like inspired you to use hip hop and storytelling through mm. hip hop to kind of call this out? I think that the most immediate thing about hip hop that has more power than other genres of music is how important the use of the lyrics mm -hmm. is. And, you know, obviously there have been a bunch of really important folk songs, mm -hmm. rock songs, mm -hmm. a bunch of songs from different genres that have been political in making statements. But there's something that's a lot more to the point about hip hop. And I think it's easier to drill a message home through the way that you can deliver and layer and and repeat lyrics in hip-hop mm -hmm. the the chorus itself of condos is mm -hmm. very aggressive like a trap song yeah really condos cool. condos condos yeah and you know if i was sitting here with a guitar you know bob dylan's one of my favorite artists of all time but if i was sitting here going like condos condos <laughs> it would almost it would sound right. more like i love these condos right it just is not as easy to show your emotion, in my opinion, right. you know. Well, and there's a political act in just doing hip hop in general, right? Because right. we also like, a lot of folks tend to look down on hip hop and there's all sorts of baggage and reasoning behind there's that a lot of, of like, oh, you know, this isn't as valuable because of the, you know, so I think, I think you're making a political choice just to be a rapper in general. Thank you, say. I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, hip hop originated in New York City mm -hmm. in the 70s. And it really started because of how overlooked, um, you know, communities of color were, mm -hmm. specifically blacks and Latinos. And so the reason that people started rapping was because they were sick of the conditions they were lived in. Yeah. And so they were just saying on tracks like, yo, this is how we're living. Grandmaster Flash, yeah, the message, right? We, yeah. Right, we shouldn't be living this way. Right. So yeah, from its, you know, from its start, it was, uh, it was political. And so yeah, there's a huge absence of that social element in hip hop now. And so I really want to remind people from Somerville, but also folks, whoever is listening to it really, I just want them to remember that hip hop is and should be used as an element of social change. Absolutely. And it's definitely losing that quality now that everyone's starting to rap.
Right. Um, and that's a different story, a different yeah. conversation. But yeah, you can't lose that side of it. All right. So we're going to take a break and we're going to get to actually see you perform the song Condos and yep. maybe a few other songs for us as well off your new album. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about the album and uh, what your next steps are. All right. Sweet. Sounds good. Let's go. Shout out Abu617 on the beat. He produced this whole album, The Mongolian Monster. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I'm in the Ville. Whoa. Yes. I'm in the Ville. Whoa. Link up and chill. Whoa. Yeah. You know the drill. Ho. Oh, yeah. Hold up. No reels. Oh. I got my deals. Oh. Yeah. Hold up. All I see is candles, 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 candles. All I see is candles, 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 candles. Did it blow the candle, 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 candle. Did it gotta blow the candle, 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 candle. Then they hit us with the vamos, 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 vamos. Baby, come on, vamos, 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 vamos. It be hard to handle, 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 handle. It be hard to handle, handle, handle. Up be gold nuts. Me and Curtis Tony turned Pinocchio the way he say that we glowed up. We ain't got time for no bluff. He ain't showing us no love. He been screwing us over like he finna go ahead and disown us. Like he wanna rep the Costa Nostra. I detect the cash and took him over. Side effect, a fact they pushed him over. Sight was set on back. Then he sold us out. Still make route. Some of it cat. We stay out. Some of this I can't make out. I stay out now. All I see is candles, candles. Candles, 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 all I see is candles, 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 blow the candle, 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 it ain't easy to control, receipt peep where the funds go We be seated at front row, popcorn watch it unfold And we be on toes, periphery, post epiphany New view that it turns soul to infinity It don't take luck, we got the artillery to blow up flow Go master mobility, oh silly me, I got a hold of my energy Low gravity depending on my ability Grab pen, let it bleed out, new pedigree Breathe them a glorious slow, on the real we out Still make route, some of it cat, we stake out Some of this I can't make out, I stay out now all I see is candles, 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 candles. All I see is candles, 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 candles. Then it blow the candle, 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 candle. Then it gotta blow the candle, 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 candle. Then they hit us with the vamos, 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 baby, come on, vamos, 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 vamos. It be hard to handle, 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 handle. It be hard to handle, 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 handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be way too hard Woo. to handle. Hold up, I play through for the vandal. I don't know, they can scar the camera. Woo. Yeah, get it off a of panorama. Y'all can see I got the stamina. Ooh, I don't care, I got a stamina. Speak it like King Tongue. Y'all even know Ring Come. I don't know, dog in the kingdom. What? Oh, yeah. Gotta go ring up, oh damn I don't wanna trip down, but I gotta go hit a spring, uh Yeah Condos Thank you, thank you Alright, so we're back here with Marcelo, aka Jerome B who just uh, performed a few songs for us. Um, and you just came out with a brand new album. Yeah, yeah. Five days ago? Yeah, I mean, let's see. The 26th, so four. Tech, yeah, four. Four, four days, days ago. Okay, four days just ago. so we're all clear. Yeah. And that's called New New. So N-E-W-K-N-E-W. Yes, exactly. Tell me about that record, or tell me about that album and uh, you know some of the songs on it. Yeah, so... This is actually the first project I've put out under the name Jerome B. So for all of the first six years of my rap career, I went first by Cello and then by Cello Damp. And so 
that's the first significant thing about this is that I'm taking on this new stage name and I'm mm -hmm. running with it. And so this is the first uh, project that's streaming on all services under the name Jerome B. Cool. Uh, but yeah, it's called Nunu. New New, and so they're all, all of the songs are produced by the same producer. Uh, his name is Sesame. Um, he's from South Korea. Wow. So um, the beats have a very unique vibe, uh, unlike anything I've ever put out a record under before. Um, there's a bit of a K-pop sound to it. Uh, I didn't think about that, but, wild, yeah. but someone like said that. I said, I'll take that, you know, yeah. why not? Um, but yeah, so it's a very different vibe from what I've done before. It's a lot more melodic. Um, and generally, the concept of the title, Nunu, is that um, every day, really, you're learning about yourself more and about other people more and about the world more. So it's like you knew somebody again. So it's like new, new. I knew somebody, but now they're new. Mm -hmm. um, and there's also just the phrase like new, new, yo, like right. you see that new, new, like right. something new. And it's something new for me, right. the sound. So just trying different things out and expanding what I'm doing in front of a microphone. That's awesome. Yeah. And it's kind of, I think, fitting also with like the concept of coming back to the city, right? And you, right. a city you knew mm -hmm. that feels new in a lot of ways, right? Exactly. Maybe not even as familiar as it did because you went to Brandeis and you kind of went off and did that and now coming back. And so uh, that's another question I Very have. Like true. what brings you back here? And yeah. what's kind of your mission now being back in Somerville? So, oh, well, my mission being back in Somerville, I wrote, um, I don't even know why I'm blanking on what it's called. A resolution. I wrote a New Year's resolution that I wanted to get a job that uh, gave back to the Somerville community. Awesome. And so this fall, I'll be an assistant teacher at Prospect Hill Academy Charter School. Oh, wow. School, nice. Okay. Fourth grade general education. Wow. Nice. In uh, West, sorry, East Somerville. Yeah. And um, I went there for three years. So it's going to be very cool and very weird being a teacher where I was a student. Yep. Um, so yeah, in the immediate run, in the short run, I want to be doing this fellowship and teaching kids from Somerville that I was. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. But now that I'm here living in Somerville, I also want to start doing more events and shows, performing myself, but also giving other artists opportunities to perform and express themselves in Somerville and in the greater Boston area in general. Um, so I just want to make sure that there's still that cohesive community, even though new people are coming in. And that's exactly what's being done here. Um, and that's what's being done with teen empowerment and a few other awesome groups. Yeah. So I just want to find my feet in that. Oh, we we'll give you something to do. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Cool. I think, I think we <laughs> definitely got that. We Sweet. definitely got that. Perfect. Um, all right. So I want to give you a chance to plug anything else that you want us to know about upcoming mm -hmm. shows. Even as you said, you're talking about, you know, shouting out local artists. Are there any local artists that we shouldn't sleep on? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> Too many. I mean, man. I know there's a lot. But I, I'm going to go ahead and not name any because if you miss I'll someone, miss, like, then yeah. One. <laughs> it's not cool, man. It's over, yeah. I have a love for everybody. It's just the memory thing right now. Um, yeah, I mean, the first plug I'll make is that um, people should definitely check out my new album, New New. So N E W K N E W. Uh, Jerome B. It's streaming everywhere. Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, of course. You can't ever forget about SoundCloud. It's uh, five songs, 13 minutes. Summer vibes, very brief. Uh, good time. And then I don't want to name any uh, folks that are in my generation, my age. I just want to give a big shout out to Mike Curtis, uh, who started the brand Union mm -hmm. with two yep. U's and no O. Mm -hmm. um, I'm currently wearing his shirt. Yes. Um, and I got his brand tattooed to me wow. forever uh, just because if you know, you know how important he and his work and his brand are to Somerville. Um, and if you don't know, you can ask me. Um, but he's just opened a lot of doors and that always deserves recognition. Um, so just going with what, what he gave us and just making moves from there is really what we're trying to do. It's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Marcelo, Jerome V, for being here with Heard. us tonight. It was really a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Don't be a stranger. I definitely will. We will need you. <laughs> we want you to, to guide the youth. Of course. And be part of this community. Beautiful. All right. Thank you. Awesome. Appreciate it. Woo. This song is called Matador. It's on that new project, Nunu, no. streaming everywhere. Say something. Yeah. Jerome V. 
carry all the weight, weight, weight. I got too much on my plate, plate, plate. So ain't no way I'ma wait, wait, wait. I'ma pull out of the gate, gate, gate. On my way, forget a matador. Yeah, you in control, what's the matter, yo? Uh, hit or miss, how bad it go? Whoa, so I'ma swing till I'm out of door. A blunt rap. You won't catch a vibe when I punch that. It settles sweet like a love tap. Uh. Yeah, they all be fiending for that climax. But don't see no bigger picture on that IMAX. Got me thinking where the heck they left their mind at. It's not my problem, it ain't up to me to find that. Yeah, and it's gonna be how it be. Had enough being low key on the scene. I got all the ends to justify the means. But it ain't easy as it seems. How I carry all the weight, weight, weight. I got too much on my plate, plate, plate. So ain't no way I'm away, way, way. I'ma pull out of the game, game, game. On my way to get the matador. Yeah, you in control, what's the matter, yo? Hit a miss, how bad it go? Yeah, so I'ma swing until I'm out of yo. Finished all my juice and I converted it to sauce. Ties cut loose, it be the opposite of loss. Head and tails, choose 50 50, you get props. With a point to prove, either way, it got a cost. That's when it get freaky, no more taking it easy. Multiple path open, Jerome, or roam freely. My zone, it be on ET, and my soul, it gonna feed me. And the go to get the bag, it, I'ma do it while I be me. That's the easy. Whoa, yeah, it's gonna be how it be. Had enough of being low key on the See, I got all of the ends to justify the means, but it ain't easy as it seems. I carry all the way, way, way. I got too much on my plate, plate, plate. So ain't no way I'm away, way, way. I'ma pull out of the game, game, game. On my way to get a matador. Yeah, you in control? What's the matter, yo? Whoa, hit or miss, how bad it go? Yeah, so I'ma swing until I'm out of door. Back. That's Matador, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've been a lovely crowd. <clears throat> hey, yo, what's up, what's up? Este canción se llama Omituto, para mi cubano. Hey, soft that new project, Nuno, as well. Woo! Sesame on the beat, baby. Hey, hey, yeah, check. I feel good, great, phenomenal, fantastic. At one point, that was hard to imagine. Them clouds had no plan of passing. Now I got a blue sky, so I'ma soak it in, gotta soak it in, soak it in. So I soak it in, gotta soak it in, soak it in. Here we go again, here we go again, go again, here we go again, here we go again, go again, like damn. Like damn It's up and down, I follow sun, I know it come around I mess around and hit a peak, I'm on the summit now I gotta sum it up, I never mean to dumb it down I gotta do it all, they never done a run around I gotta take great, need the energy to create fit Got me calling home as though I'm planning a play game People I be working with to be on the same page Your age, you can try whatever, but no, you can't face You they know how I'll be, out I'll be free Power to the people, I'm the only coward to flee Flower to bloom, pray rain, water to see Bow to kaboom, baby love is all that I need So I'ma keep up and see out the day till it's end You don't understand how it be my friend I feel good, great, phenomenal, fantastic At one point it was hard to imagine Them clouds had no plan of passing Now I got a blue sky so I'ma soak it in, gotta soak it in, soak it in, yeah, soak it in, soak it in, soak it in. Here we go again, here we go again, go again, here we go again, go again, go again, like, like, like what? Like, hold up, yeah. Más o menos un ratón por el queso okay. Sueño grande como jugador de baloncesto oh. Rapeo con mi cuerpo, es lo que tú sientes I be cooking fire y por, por eso, eso está caliente. caliente También está frío como café y no quindona Mi flow es más importante, tú mide más diploma No mentira, no. cielo va sube como piscina uh. Quiero hacer lo que quiero, quiero hacer. hacer Yo mira al sol, en la, la dirección, dirección cada canción. canción Simplemente nunca tengo una destinación Una paloma, nadie puede tocar Pan como oro y yo tengo en mi boca Y así ahora, vamos a comer 
Prometo que hay mucho más a ofrecer. Yeah, I feel good and great, phenomenal, fantastic. One point that was hard to imagine. Them clouds that no plan of passing. Now I got a blue sky to bask in. Gotta soak it in, soak it in, gotta soak it in, gotta soak it in, soak it in. Here we go again, go again, go again, here we go again, here we go again, go again, like no my friends, said I don't know my friends, no my friends. Here we go again, go again, yes, here we go again, go again. I don't know my friend, no my friends, said I don't know my friend, no my friends. Here we go again, go again, yes, here we go again, go again. Thank you, thank you very much. Check out that Nunu. Nunu.